They are absolutely adorable. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they're eight weeks old and two days. And this puppy puzzle you can only do when they're eight weeks old, three days before, and three days after. I'm headed to a puppy puzzle party. Not sure what that is? Well, hang tight because I'm going to share it all with you. And be sure to subscribe and ring that little bell so you don't miss one episode of All the Fun. <laughs> When Edie Dexter Bloom asked me if I might be interested in attending her puppy puzzle party, I can tell you now I was beyond elated. She is a co-owner on a dam to an eight-week-old litter of old English sheepdogs. She, along with her co-breeder, Holly, her friends Ellen and Linda, who also breed, as well as Carrie and her family, who were there to meet their pick male puppy for their show program, all gathered to play with and evaluate puppies, all while sharing good food, experience, and laughs. The evaluations were being done using Pat Hastings' method shared in The Puppy Puzzle. This is a DVD I recommend all breeders have in their library. I watched it like 13 years ago, and I'm telling you, it for ever changed my life when it comes to breeding dogs. The concept is to evaluate puppies at the exact age of eight weeks, and you will have a very strong chance of the puppy developing structurally equivalent to that evaluation. This concept is how you determine which is the best to keep for your program, the pick of the litter, but also which might not be as structurally correct, but would make a perfect pet or companion. And of course, everything in between. We still don't know which one we want to keep. <laughs> Uh, we hopefully will find out after this evaluation. So yes. how many are you keeping? One. One. Yeah, one. one female. But, you know, there is a person here, she's getting a male. Yeah. You know, when we're just trying to figure out who gets what. So Perfect. I think we will figure it out in yes. a minute. Yay. So what exactly is a puppy puzzle party? First, of course, you need a litter of puppies. Then you invite your friends, potential puppy buyers. That could actually be for show or pet homes, visual judges, anyone that has a good eye for dogs, or anyone that wishes to learn how to have a good eye. Everyone brings a dish to pass, an open mind. No, I don't do Ritz crackers, but cheap stuff. No, we don't do that. Are you kidding me? These are hoity forty twenty crackers. Thank you. Sam's Club. <laughs> Sam's Club. Okay, well, there you go. So, there you go. Nice. Look at that. Look at that spread. And a desire to play and learn all about your breed. And don't think those invited need to only be from your breed. Sometimes having people evaluate your puppies who come from different breeds is surprisingly insightful and a true breath of fresh air. Using Pat Hastings theories and tools, you and your guests follow the instructions provided on the DVD on evaluating each puppy in the litter. And this is our puppy evaluation form. There are little things in here, this puppy ID, we are going to develop dog and bitch, De um, check the head, the front, shoulders, rear, top line, eye, and miscellaneous, and they all get a number one to five. See, eight, with eight weeks and two years, points one to five, three is show average. Nice. Now I do recommend that you and your guests watch the Puppy Puzzle DVD if time allows for it, of course. It's great for newbies to learn what they're about to witness and a great refresher for those who are familiar with the process. Every breed has a breed standard. That should describe the physical structure, temperament, gait, everything that makes the breed the breed. When doing your evaluations, you should use that breed standard as you go over each and every puppy, rating it a one to a five or even one to 10 on all of the elements, the head, the front, shoulders, rear, top line, eyes, and of course, temperament. Four. Four. Out of five. Because of the posternum. Yeah. One part of the temperament four. test is to hold a puppy upside down on its back. This should be done by a complete stranger, someone the puppy has never met before. If it settles calmly, you've got a really good pup. Stretch your belly. Oh my, look at her. <laughs> <laughs> she actually has a perfect, perfect temperament. The whole idea of that is you don't want them you want to see the whites of their eyes, that they're fearful and not confident. She's obviously a very confident puppy. Yeah. <laughs> look at her. <laughs> okay, we, she will get a five for that. <laughs> I think one of the biggest things I learned from this program is to always look at a puppy as whole. No dog is perfect, but every dog you hold back for your program should add something to your program. Look at it as a whole, not just the bits and pieces. And he has two balls. And he has two balls, and we got a winner. To make it easy for you, I have linked below the Puppy Puzzle DVD, along with Pat Hastings' other books, another piece of the puzzle, which is for puppy development, as well as Structure and Action, 
All three are must-haves for your breeding library. So at the end of the afternoon, using Pat Hastings' methods, Edie and the gang were able to find Carrie and her family's beautiful new male puppy. She's actually, okay, this is your puppy. I know. We have to see <laughs> <laughs> her puppy. Yeah, yeah. Don't stop. Don't stop. Oh, oh, really? Spitfire. Oh. <laughs> I am happy because I know what a wonderful home he's going to. Now, you stop it, otherwise you start crying too. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to do this, okay? No crying. <laughs> as well as Edie and Holly's pick of the litter female, who will help continue to carry on this amazing and historic line of old English sheepdogs. And what is her name, Holly? Raz. R-A-Z-Z. Raz. What's her name going to be? Bohemian Rhapsody. Bohemian Rhapsody. Oh, I like it. Yeah, these puppies, they all have queen names. This is all five. Keeper. And that was the end of our puppy puzzle. And thank you, Jen, for doing this. Oh, absolutely. And you Thanks will for see having them me. in the showing. Oh, yes. And please follow them. Oh, absolutely. Okay. We'll put little links for all of them. Yeah, right. Wherever they go. <laughs> This is typical Blix. Oh, <laughs> I don't have a pair of real pair of scissors. They're all like this. They're all like that. Blix. Yes. Right. Nice. Nice. And Blix, can you come on? You want to go? Yes. Come see yes. Yeah. This is Blix. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hello. Oh, I'm going in. I'm going in. You are beautiful. Oh. Okay, do you smell, do I smell like puppies? So the next time you get invited to a puppy puzzle party, I totally recommend you taking them up on it. Learn something new while taking in tons of puppy breath. What more could you ask for?